Um, that was in the back of the mind that, you know, we've done it before, so we wasn't really tripping. We just wanted to keep it close. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get come up with stops, you know, and score down the stretch. We kind of got a little cold, but we fought. What's your concern level uh, after seeing Nicole? I don't know if you've interacted with him at all. What's your concern level? Uh, he said he thinks he's fine. So, um, you know, we got to wait on, you know, results or whatever it may be. Um, I haven't heard anything, but he's real tough, tough, tough dude. So, I mean, I'm sure he'll be okay. Hope so. Back and forth the first three quarters. You guys had like 30 lead changes overall. Um, what? Was the matter just kind of running out out of steam in the fourth quarter? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say running out of steam. You know, it was just tough. You know, we never really played. You know, without Nicola, um, he's a big piece of our offense. So just putting guys in different positions and things, it was tough at times. And we got cold, and you know, gotta get them. You know, credit those guys. They was playing downhill. They had sixty in the paint. They they made shots, timely shots when they were supposed to. My like, do you feel like today might have been your best game thus far of the season? Do you feel like we finally got your legs under you? No, I mean, I take every game, you know, with a grain of salt. Uh, I know I could be better than I was tonight, um, especially than I was the night before. Uh, I try to not be too hard on myself. Um, I mean, it's only been four games, so I'm not really judgmental on myself. Um, I'm still finding my way, you know, in this new role as a starter, and um, I just got to keep continuing to get better. Um, yeah, I mean, after four games, I would say this would be my best one, but it's not going to be my best off season, but it did feel good to, you know, get my legs up under me and play with, you know, great aggression, you know, than I did the night before. And that's what a pro is all about, just not dwelling on the game before and coming in with a fresh mind, fresh head, and playing better. You see, you're still finding your way. Mm -hmm. what, what's the hardest part about navigating your new role and then throwing the wrench of not having Nicole in there, too? Um, I mean, it's just something like everything is new. Um, you know, I put things in perspective. Even for you, if you started somewhere new, you've been doing it. But if you're in a new organization, new spot, it's a little tough on it. Um, but it is what it is. Um, when I say just finding my new role and things like that, it's also you know making sure we're in the office every time. You know, getting Michael shots, getting Will going, AG, Nicola. So um, it's definitely a different feel than coming off the bench and being that spark. So. Um, like I said, it's four games in, two and two. Uh, get, gotta get ready for Dallas Friday. Speaking of the bench, they, they did struggle a little bit to get a spark tonight. Um, Coach Malone's mentioned that he's, they're still trying to find ways to get him going. From, from your perspective, what do, you, do you feel like they're kind of close to breaking through? Yeah, I mean, we just missing shots. Uh, uh, this, that group is a downhill group. They made shots. I haven't seen them make shots. I'm not too worried. You know, it's no time to panic. I mean, we only four games in. Um, you know, it's a lot of teams that projected to like, just win a championship and under 500 right now or, you know, not even probably won a game yet. So um, there's no time to, you know, dwell on it. We know what we got to do. We got a, a, a older group. So um, we just got to be ready. And I know Friday night, Ben should be ready to play and, um, you know, give us that life. Two quick ones on the Zoom. Brendan Boyd, DNVR, go ahead. Hey, Monte. Uh, you mentioned the new role. Just curious if, you, you know, your suboptimal offseason, the injury and the recovery, if that's factored into maybe what's a slower start than, than you'd hope for this season. Are you still looking for your rhythm? No, I got rhythm. This is all about me going out there being aggressive. That's all. Um, tonight I was aggressive. Um, the night before, I was, you know, passive. Um, and, you know, like I said, as a pro, you just got to just take those nights, those tough nights, and, uh, you know, ask for, you know, resilience and not stress on it too much. Get back to the drawing board and uh, be ready to go. So it's a long season, a lot of games, um, tough guards I'm going against every night. So I can't dwell on the, the game where I didn't play to my best ability. Got to move on. And we'll finish with Jenna Garcia, Denver Stiffs. Monte, it looked like when right after Nicola left the court, Coach Malone pulled you aside and spoke to you. I was just curious if what he had to say to you. You went out right after that and had a couple big buckets. So interested in what he had to say. Just just uh, stay in the tag mode, um, stay downhill, and just run the team. Um, I feel like you know, Malone 
he always want me to be in attack mode uh, all the time. But when he tells me to put me to the side, I just feel like I just turn it up to a, you know a better level. So when he told me that, it just gave me the confidence to just keep putting pressure on the defense and just playing my game. And uh, like I said, uh, I'm just trying to get better every day. And uh, it's early four games in, and you know I'll be better. Cool. Thank you, Monte.